a word about argument and disagreement. As many have noted this past year, Jewish arguments are not only accepted, they are the very basis upon which our tradition moves itself forward. Hillel, no less than any other Jewish organization at any time in Jewish history, knows and appreciates the value of dissent and disagreement. But Hillel also has a special role in setting boundaries around appropriate arguments. After all, in the famous passage from Pirkei Avot, in which the distinction is taught between a proper argument, machlochet l'shem shamayim, and an, ar an argument in the name of heaven, and an argument that is not for the sake of heaven, it's the debates between Beit Hillel and Beit Shammai that are cited as the exemplar of a good argument, an argument for the sake of heaven, while the rebellion of Korach and his followers against Moses and Aaron is held out as the exemplar of an argument that is not for the sake of heaven. Now, many lessons about proper boundaries have been derived by our sages from this mission. I'm only going to mention two such lessons. First, the Torah tells us, the passage about Korah tells us, that Moses reached out to Datan and Abiram, who were two of Korah's accomplices, but they refused to meet with Moshe. From this episode, our sages teach us that an unwillingness to engage in dialogue, even with those who are obviously not seeking compromise, is still wrong. This is why I and so many of you have sought out opportunities to dialogue with Hillel's critics on campus and will continue to do so even though these efforts at dialogue too often produce critical responses from those with whom we speak. Second lesson, our sages also point out to us that Korach claimed that he was simply seeking equality with Moses and Aaron when in fact, he actually sought to become the high priest himself. This deliberate attempt to hide one's true motives, the Torah teaches us, our rabbis teach us, makes Korach's efforts beyond the pale. Now we too have experienced deception in the past year. As you all know personally and deeply, Hillel is an open, pluralistic organization that works hard every day to make as many people as possible feel welcome and appreciated. To anyone who sincerely questions this, we have compelling evidence that provides a clear and unequivocal response. However, some who claim Hillel is not open do not really mean that. Their real agenda is to have another platform for anti-Israel agitation. This is an argument that is not for the sake of heaven, and one we will not join.